going to see Avengers Endgame today and it's snowing out. Perfect day to go sit inside a movie theater for four hours, right? I'm headed in. See you in a bit. Well, I just got out. Uh, no sense reviewing it. Just go see it. That's it. Hello. Well, I saw Endgame, uh, Avengers Endgame, on Saturday, and uh, it was unbelievable. Uh, great movie. Um, there's tons of people reviewing it, so try to avoid them. Uh, I avoided uh, all media and human contact, basically, uh, until that came out, because um, I stopped watching, I think, after the second trailer, too, because I didn't want to uh, see too much. I will say that Marvel is really good at that, too, where they'll... They, kind of mislead you in trailers um, so if you've seen a lot of trailers or heard things that may not be true some of the stuff may not be true I went back and, and looked at all of the stuff that I avoided for a few weeks and virtually none of it was accurate so um, if you thought maybe someone spoiled it for you they probably didn't um, so you know all I can say is go see it I'm I just I'm just gonna talk reaction a little bit because I don't want to spoil anything from it and um, I, I did get choked up a few times in it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've seen some reviews Kevin Smith's I watched yesterday he just he's sobbing like crazy and uh, I didn't quite get to that level but uh, you know it did there's several moments in there where it's it's joy and sadness and then there's stuff with family and friends mixed in there and it, it's it's really good um, they, they really let the cast act this time uh, more I think than in any of the other Marvel movies that I've seen and there are a lot of really good actors in this and uh, they, to me, previously, they, they kind of left them to be two-dimensional, like a comic book. Um, but it, this, it's like they stepped off the page and they really became uh, the actors that they are, that you've seen them in other you know, theatrical roles. Um, it just is really good, really well done. There's little moments for everybody. There's a lot of fan service stuff in there. Um, I'm thinking to a couple of particular scenes, but uh, there's, there's lighthearted moments. There's super dark moments. Um, there's twists, there's, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that goes on in it. It's, it's over three hours long, uh, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's fitting. You know, you can nitpick it probably to the end of time and think of other things that could have been done or said, but um, it's, it's just so good. Uh, it, it's as good as you could hope for. The Russo brothers deserve a lot of credit for what they did with this. It's an incredible uh, thing. Uh, although I do think that, that uh, you don't, you're not hearing enough about the, guy, the two guys that wrote the screenplay for this. Uh, I think um, it, what they did and the way that they wove through the, you know, the previous movies into this um, it is incredible. Um, you know, you'll remember back little scenes and little things that, you know, things people said. Um, and it's all interwoven and it's incredible. Um, I, I, I can't talk, you know, uh, highly enough of it. I'm going to go see it again. Uh, when my son gets home uh, from college this summer, he already saw it. He we talked about it last night a little bit, and uh, I just can't wait. I know some of you out there have seen it, some of you haven't. Um, it, it's it just after you see it, you're bursting. You want to talk to people about it. Um, so, and I'm sure a lot of that's going to go on on Free Comic Book Day. If you have been trying to avoid everybody, I'd say see it before Saturday because if you're going to partake in Free Comic Book Day and go to your favorite uh, local comic shop. There's no way you're not going to hear people talking about it. Um, so, you know, that's Saturday. Uh, this coming Saturday is free comic book day. I try to hit two or three um, comic shops, um, and, uh, and I think I will this year. And then on Sunday, uh, there's uh, what they call West Side Con or a sidewalk sale, basically, from one of the shops, Rhino's Comics, that I go to often. And it's been in videos, and Mike goes there as well. Mike's going to be setting up a table there, and I think I'm going to occupy some of his space and uh, uh, sell some stuff to... Uh, to anyone that shows up so um, one other thing is uh, I don't know if you've seen the new series Black Summer on uh, Netflix I started watching it last night I watched three episodes of it and it's kind of raw footage um, it, it, the whole thing reminds me of if the world had just turned into a Black Friday sale at Walmart and you were living in it uh, th that's what the series to me seems like so far it's the brings out the worst in people um, when the people turn into these creatures kind of like zombies I guess they they run so it's terrifying there's none of that melodrama like you get in uh, Walking Dead it's just full-on people are terrified and it's right at the beginning of whatever this outbreak is and 
uh, people are doing horrible things to each other, as I'm sure, unfortunately, they probably would. So um, I think the prepper crowd would really love this show. But if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. It's pretty good. Check it out. Um, it's called Black Summer. Uh, I, I like it so far. I think I watched three or four episodes of it. Uh, they're not the same length either. Sometimes they're 34, 38, 41. It doesn't matter. It's just whatever length they want. Um, and I see by the, the uh, big clock on the wall here that I've gone way over my two minutes, but um, that's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, and I'm also getting to the bottom of my uh, irrational fear of Phyllis Diller. I think I, I thought of a key moment this morning, and I'll share that with you next week. So until next time, Life, Liberty, Pursuit of Comics. Love what you have, not what you want. I'll see you all later.